In this video I'll solve question 1 of the Cayley Olympiad paper from 2022. The Cayley Olympiad is sat by students who've done really well in the UKMT's Intermediate Maths Challenge. It's aimed at students in Year 9 in England and Wales, or students ages 13 to 14 if you're comparing with other parts of the world. Depending which year group students are in and how well they've done, they might progress to either the kangaroo rounds or the Olympiad rounds, can be the grey or the pink kangaroo, or the Cayley McLaurin or Hamilton rounds, depending uh, what year group they're in. These are some of the most challenging problems for students of this age group, and unlike the uh, intermediate math challenge and the kangaroo rounds, the Olympiad rounds do require students to give full working in their answers. So this question would be worth uh, 10 marks uh, in the Olympiad round. The best way to practice for these competitions is to head over to courses.mathsaurus.com where you can try one of my free preparation courses. So you can work through this question and all the others in this paper with video hints as well as solutions. And there are also courses for the Intermediate Maths Challenge, for the Kangaroo, for the Junior and Senior Rounds and loads more over there as well. So do head over there, totally free to sign up, no payment details are required to access these free courses with the UKMT questions. So I hope to see you over there at some point, but for now let's get on with this question right here on YouTube. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There are two challenges in the Olympiad questions. The first is solving the question, and the second is writing it up in a way that gets full marks. If you're used to doing the maths challenges and the kangaroos even, you know it's multiple choice questions and it really doesn't matter about the working. But in the Olympiad, the working is really, really important. But you can't do the working until you've got the answer to the question. So usually uh, we do do a bit of rough working and that's exactly what I'm going to do to start off with here. I'm going to kind of try to get the gist of the problem and then uh, we'll try to write it up properly. So we've got this set of numbers from 62 to 70 and we're going to divide each of them by one of the numbers from 1 to 9 and um, that will result in 9 integers, so 9 whole numbers. So that's our first clue here, we can only divide uh, numbers by things that they're multiples of, otherwise we won't get integers as the result. And it says the sum of the 9 integers is s, what are the possible values of s? And again, this is where Olympiad questions can be harder, and because we can show working, it doesn't have to be just one answer, it can lead to multiple answers sometimes, um, and uh, you know, we'd have to find them all, or at least if there is only one, show that there aren't any others as well. So let's think about this. Um, it makes sense to start by listing the factors of the number 62 up to 70, but we don't really need to list uh, all of the factors. We can just quite quickly list the numbers um, between 1 and 9 uh, that are factors. So if I just write a quick list uh, of these numbers, then, well, 1 is clearly a factor of all of the numbers, 1 is a factor of every number, and uh, 2 is a factor of all the even numbers. So let's write uh, 2s in here. Now 3, if I find a multiple of 3, well 63 is a multiple of 3, and then every, th every third number is going to be uh, a multiple of 3 from there. The same with 4, 64 is the first multiple of 4 in this list, and then 68 is the next one. Uh, the multiples of 5 are 65 and 70. Uh, the multiple of 6 is only uh, 66, um, multiples of 7, we've got uh, 63 and 70, multiples of 8, uh, we've got just 64, and multiples uh, of 9, we've actually got just uh, 63. And uh, as you're doing that, perhaps it would be helpful if I'd made this more of a grid before I started, um, as you're doing that you probably notice that uh, some of the numbers uh, have now been Kind of uniquely uh, identified, right? So, uh, in particular, uh, there was only one multiple of nine in this list, so it must be that 63 is the number we're going to divide uh, by nine, and the quotient that we get, i.e., the result of the division, uh, quotient, you know, is the word we use for a division like this. Um, uh, so that will give us seven. And uh, what else have we got? Well, there was only one multiple of six as well, so it must be that 66 over 6 here uh, gives us uh, 11, and we can go through now uh, narrowing down uh, the options. We can either um, keep looking for things like that, or we can also notice that 67 here only has 1, right? So actually it must be that 67 is divided by 1 to get 67. And uh, I can sort of go through this list now saying, okay, well I've used the 1s, we know there's no more 6s um, or, or 9s, um, present anywhere, uh, but these are done with now as well. Actually, uh, once I've got rid of the 1 here, uh, you can see that 65 only has uh, 5 left, so 65 uh, divided by 5 
gives us 13. Actually, there's kind of two routes we could go here. We can either um, say, okay, I, I cross these ones out and and see what's left, right? Or I could also notice something like seven being uh, the only multiple of seven left. Now we've used up 63 or 70. So there are slightly different routes through, the, through this. Um, so uh, 62 now though is, has only got two. Uh, so 62 over two is gonna give us 31. Uh, and I've used up the two now. And now our 66 is also uh, finished. Uh, 68 has only got the four left. So we're gonna do 68. Uh, divided by four, that gives us 17. Um, 69 has only got the three left, so 69 over three uh, is 23. 70 has only got the seven left, so 70 divided by seven is 10. And um, what are we left with with uh, 64? Just the eight, uh, so 64 over eight is equal to eight. So different ways of narrowing down the logic here, but we've basically got the answer here. And actually what we found is there is only one possible uh, value of S, right? And so S is equal to the sum of these numbers, 31 plus seven plus eight plus 13 plus 11 plus 67 plus 17 plus 23 uh, plus 10. And if you add all those together, you get 187. And so in a sense, uh, that's the answer. Uh, but of course, we still have to add to this now some written working uh, to make sure that we really uh, go back through that logic and uh, explain how we worked all of that out. Now, I'm not going to write every single line out here, but I'll give you the sense of what you need to do and you'll be able to fill in the details for sure. So I've just made my rough working small here. Uh, so I think I would start here in this question by saying something like, you know, we can make a table, uh, make a table of um, the factors of, 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 of factors, right? Um, okay, you might use longer sentences than I'm going to say here. So I might have said, we can make a table of the factors of 62 to 70 uh, from the numbers one to nine. Uh, so, uh, and then actually I might put this table in my working here, okay? Uh, and then we're just gonna start writing down in the order that we did things, what we did, right? So uh, what was the first thing I noticed? I think I noticed that um, 63, right, is the only uh, multiple of nine. Okay, so we wrote that down. Um, uh, so, you know, 63 over nine equals seven uh, is in the sum. Let's just say that, I think that's quite clear. Um, you know, we also said, you know, 66 is the only multiple of uh, six. Sorry about my handwriting, I'll try and make it better as we go through. So 66 over six is 11, is also in the sum. And actually then, we're just gonna keep doing a sequence of lines like this, right? I think I noticed next that uh, 67 only has one as a factor. Uh, so 67 over one is equal to 67 is in the sum. Now, the bit that's a bit harder then to uh, explain is perhaps, okay, why then? So when I, when the next, if I next go to 65 and say, uh, you know, 65 only has five left, uh, you know, you might say excluding, you know, uh, one already used. And I think that's pretty clear, you know, so 65 over five equals 13 is in the sum. Now, there's not just one perfect way of writing this down and there were different orders, orders we could go through all of these things, right? So um, so you might write this slightly differently and still get full marks. It might be that I might, might only get nine out of 10 marks if someone thinks I've been imprecise somewhere. Uh, and certainly if I just left it as dot, 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 they wouldn't like it. Um, and at the, when we get to the end, we'll say, okay, um, so there was only one option or something like that. Uh, there was only one uh, possibility and then finally we can just repeat that line that I've got here that says uh, s is equal to all of these things added together uh, which is equal to 187 and we do make sure that we always state that final answer really clearly even if you think you've got to the conclusion and you know everything that you've built up to it leads only to the, pos the answer as the, as, the, as the conclusion still state that answer very clearly there'll always be a mark for that and uh, actually, when you read these things back, it does make it so much clearer.
Okay, so that's question one in the bag. Meant to be a little bit more accessible than the other questions, but still tough. So well done if you uh, got that, and I'll see you in question two.